All right, today we are going to talk about uh, Wyndham Weaponry AR-15, which my friend uh, just bought uh, a few months ago. Uh, so first thing we'll do is we'll do a quick safety check. Nothing in the chamber. You can see the clip is out. So that's done. Um, this one uh, he picked up from Cabela's. Uh, if you see the American flag here, some of the proceeds go to the our veterans, which is a good thing. Uh, so standard how it comes with, with the, is uh, no scope, uh, no flashlight, just the rear on the top, uh, uh, your shoulder strap. It doesn't have the tripod uh, or the hand grip, uh, but he added all those things uh, later on. Uh, it has a collapsible uh, stock, so it is six ways. So you can lock it all the way or all the way up. Pretty sweet. And on on this side here, if you see, you have the fire and uh, your safety. You put it on fire, or you can put it on safety. This uh, right here is to lock your bolt. If I put on it. And clip. Locks your bolt. Besides your safety, you have a lock on your bolt. Okay. And then what he did was he added a scope with the red dot and the green dot. And then he added uh, a flashlight, which comes with two attachments. Either you can trigger it by this here with the sensor, or you can uh, keep the back of the flashlight on and it's an on-off switch. You can uh, click on it. And then he added the tripod, which is a pretty nice feature here. Um, hand grip and a tripod so you can use it as a tripod or a, or a hand grip so let me see here right there okay so basically those are the features of this AR-15 very nice gun very nicely made uh, he did shoot a few times uh, pretty accurate so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna uh, go out to our deer stand and see how it operates because if you're shooting straight it's uh, different than if you have it at an elevation so today we want to find out the distance and how accurate it is when you're at an angle shooting from the top down instead of and it came your plug uh, your instructions, always good to read those before uh, operating a firearm. And it does take 223, 223 or 556 as, as ammo. Those are the calibers. The scope is 1 by 30. Uh, the strength, pretty nice uh, scope. Uh, the flash size is pretty nice too.
So this came with the one um, 30 round clip. It's a semi-automatic uh, rifle. Okay, it does come with the forward assist uh, to make sure you can press it to make sure your round is uh, in the chamber. And then uh, it does come with the dust guard right here or whatever you want to call it, but it basically uh, if you're not in using it, you can close this. Uh, some, some of the manufacturers don't offer that. So this is a really nice rifle. Okay, here we go. You hit it in the bottom a little bit. Was that the first one? It went up now. See, here it hit, right here. Right in the, right in the green, but right there. See that? Yep. Okay, so that means it's. See that? At ten yards, you got to shoot about two inches higher. Look at the look at the holes right there. Yep. So remember that, ten yards from twenty feet up, two inches higher. It did hit the green. On the white. In the green, but at the edge. That was right, I aimed it right in the green, but it's on the bottom now. Yep, so you're still low an in inch to the right. Right. So you gotta go up two inches. Bullseye? But you're still in the white. Okay. Still, like you're you're closer, but it's still. Here we got a 12 gauge Mossberg shotgun. So, okay, safety. Bought some shells. The wrapping. So, what kind of shells are going in there? 12 gauge PDX. These are for uh, deer, okay. hollow points. That wasn't a third. Whoa, holy shit. Still two inches low. So I have to be up a little bit. 
Okay, so we did a little experiment uh, shooting from uh, the tree stand up here at an elevated height. So from the base, the tree stand is about 12 feet, plus you add your height to it. So what worked for us was, for me was, uh, the first target was at 10 yards. After a few shots, what worked for me was I had to elevate about two inches from the bullseye and then shoot and it worked for me at 10 yards from an elevated height. Then we have 15 yards and that was the same case where I was low and I elevated about two to three inches up here and it hit the bullseye and then we go back over here which is 25 yards This was basically right on uh, on the bullseye. I didn't have to adjust uh, up or down, uh, dependent upon how your scope is sighted. Uh, this scope is sighted for two yards, uh, but this one was right on target. So the bottom line is that you have to do the geometry if you're shooting from the top, on a, from a tree stand down close, uh, like I said earlier, for me it worked, I had to elevate uh, about two inches and it would hit uh, uh, the bullseye. Plus we marked our targets by the reflectors. To see our yardage, how far we have all the targets. So, very nice, nice gun to shoot, very powerful, and that's the end of this experiment. We'll see you next time.